Hello, golfers all over the world. I want to welcome you to Tech Talk on thegolfdirector.com with George Honeycutt and Hugh Roy III. Good morning, Hugh. Hello, George. Good to see you. You too. We have a very special guest in the studio today. This Tech Talk is purely about Red Method Golf. Red Method Golf. Make sure you get this. It's going to come and play for you for many years to come. If you've got juniors, if you know junior golfers that are wanting to get into the game, if they're just beginning all the way up to if they're accomplished players, Red Method is going to be an answer for them and something that you need to look into for that junior player. With us today, the founder and president of Red Method Golf, Mr. Bart Whitney. Bart, welcome to the program. Hi, guys. Good, good to be here. Good to see you. Boy, you're all decked out. Got the, got the logos going. He looks like a billboard, doesn't he? He does, but I tell you what, George, he needs to because this man's got an innovative idea. He does. going to help folks tremendously. Hey, Bart, tell us, uh, tell us RMG, what it's about, Red Method Golf. Uh, give us a little snapshot of the of the history of the company. Well, the, the easiest way to describe what it is and what it does for the, the players and their families is um, we provide year-round coaching for kids that want to play tournament golf. Um, that's that's it in the in the briefest nutshell that I can provide. Um, we don't have enough time to go into all the things that we do for the kids, but um, if if you have a junior golfer, um, if you've been through this journey, which is junior golf, you understand the amount of frustration, the anxiety that can be there, the, the chaos, uh, the chaos, the misinformation. Um, you know, it, it's one thing for this direction. Yeah, yeah. For for I mean, if the kids and the families have chosen the most difficult sport. They're out there standing out there by themselves. Um, you know, the parents are helpless on the on the cart path. You just can't give advice. You can't, you know, scream like you can at a football game or a basketball game. And the worst part is they're out there for five hours, you know, playing tournament golf. Yeah. Um, and so it's just it's a real challenge. And so when we when when I had families coming and asking for help, uh, because I, I do a lot of coaching outside of golf and and, and then got into coaching high school golf. Um, I just spent a lot of time thinking about you know what what's missing, what is causing this frustration, why is it like that? And I just kind of questioned it, um, created something that I knew was going to be pretty different, uh, ran it by a lot of people in the business world, and then the golf uh, professionals that I know and trust, and, and everybody gave me positive feedback, so we went forward. Break us down. You've got kind of a uh, on your website, which is quite informative, I must say. Uh, First off, you kind of lay out the, the, the fundamental principles of Red Method Golf, such as education, psychology, fitness, nutrition, swing, and competition. Mm -hmm. uh, give us a, a brief definition of what you do for those different components of your quote-unquote mission statement. Well, what we, do, what, we, what we try to do is to create a player support team for every player and for every family, no matter their geography, and our, our footprint is growing quickly. Um, but if you look at the kind of the old paradigm of player development uh, for juniors um, a lot of it is based on you know early on the the camps the clinics you know you might be using plastic clubs and that sort of thing and then quickly someone says well hey my kid really kind of likes this so I like the way their swing is it might be a parent who plays golf or just wants them to get into something and you quickly get into swing instruction and that's where expectations come that's where frustration kind of begins. Um, the players that really reach the pinnacle, not only do they have great swings, they've got great temperaments, they've got great processes, they're into the fitness, the nutrition, um, they're well-balanced people. You know, course they, management. Course management, but it, it goes off the course as well. I mean, it's in the classroom. It's the way they conduct yeah. themselves. Um, it's, it's the total package. And so um, I was on a, a, a course uh, watching some kids get ready for a tournament uh, back in February. And I'm standing with some college coaches, and there was 90 boys getting ready to go. And I said to the coaches, I said, one of the coaches talked about the number of great swings. And I said, well, how many great players do you think are in this tournament? And they thought maybe five, possibly ten. So it's not all swing. you got to have a good swing. you got to have a good swing instructor and to go through that. But to really achieve, it's about a lot more than swing. And that's what we're trying to do is to put all the pieces of the puzzle on the table, organize them, and then put them together. You mentioned footprint. Give us a, a, what is your footprint as far as Red Method Golf? Well, here in Myrtle Beach, um, we've got uh, Hugh over at Shaftesbury. Um, he's getting his, uh, his swing instruction program going. And, and what I try to do is, is find a swing instructor that, that I um, get along with, 
that I understand their 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 teaching methods, what mm-hmm. they believe in, and mm-hmm. in, in terms of the golf swing, how they create relationships with the players, and that sort of thing. If there's a fit there, then we kind of proceed and we start rounding out the the player support team with fitness and nutrition and sports psychology and that sort of thing. On the south side, uh, Steve Dresser Golf Academy. Um, uh, so uh, I'll be with them uh, later today, as a matter of fact, uh, up in Steve's Charlotte. Steve's down at Caledonia and True Blue. Yeah, Caledonia True Blue. Uh, I've got Leslie Elmore at Providence Country Club up in South Charlotte, uh, David Ross at River Run in Davidson, uh, Jay Hill at Corbin Hills in Salisbury, um, Ben Henson at uh, Lockmere in Cary, North Carolina. Um, Pinehurst is coming on pretty soon. Um, I'll Good. I'll leave uh, with Pinehurst and uh, Greenville, North Carolina, and Wilmington. Um, I I won't say necessarily who we're we're you know bringing in from a swing instruction standpoint there, um, but uh, we've got families that are there, um, part of the program, and uh, we'll soon be adding more things to the website about that. So so it's exciting. I I really um, a few years ago, if you asked me if I'd be doing this, the answer would have been no. Um, I didn't. This this wasn't something that I searched out to do. Right. Uh, people asked me. I tried to create a re, you know reasons in my head not to do it, and then I said, "Well, wait a minute. I love this stuff. I love being around the kids. I love sure. coaching." Um, I took a really deep analysis of of golf and junior golf and said, "Wow, not only do I want to do it, it's needed. Yeah, and it's proving it's definitely out. needed. And I mean, and you know, it's like you asked me last night. You know, when you were on tour, you know, what well, what was your support team? You know, and you think about it, you have your swing instructor, you have your sports psychologist, you have your nutritionist, you know, you've got your agent, you've got fitness and everything. Yeah. And so, you know, it just, it makes sense for the kids that if they're serious and they want to get into golf and, and play golf and play high school golf or hopefully eventually college golf and even on, you know, you get set in these kind of regiments, it makes things happen a lot easier. You know, it's not that it's going to be easy, but it helps. It really helps. Well, and it's really about kind of creating that roadmap to yes. to to help that, them that's, achieve that's their it. goals. And the cool thing is, right? So we've got we've got young kids. They they might you know have been they might have been challenged soccer players, yeah. and then they decide, well, golf is my thing. Well, they want something that's structured like challenge soccer brings, um, but you know they don't know. They haven't. They don't know golf. Yeah. You know they they get into it, and then you say, well, you know, what is your goal? Well, I want to make my middle school team. Cool. We can develop a plan to help you achieve that goal. But I've also got kids that want to play professional golf. Awesome. The player support team is going to rally around you, and we're going to build a plan. It's got a lot more, you know, steps to it compared to the kid that wants to make that middle school team. But, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're we're wrapping ourselves around each player, each family. We're not trying to jam them into, you know, here's what our process is. Mm -hmm. Our process is... Let us understand you, what you're trying to achieve, and then we're going to help you do that. And understanding the individual itself is what comes across to me is what you're exactly. trying to do. You know, you understand that you're building this around the, the child and the family and what they need, not necessarily what is so-called the model or what you think, you know, people say, oh, this is what you need. It's, yeah. it's about what they need. Well, it's cool. I met with a family this morning uh, before I came in here, and, um, you know, the, 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 the son has... You know, had some struggles. He's made his, you know, high school team, but, you know, he's actually only in seventh grade. Um, And so in the past month or so, we've talked about a lot of things that, you know, that were challenges. And now he's playing really good, right? Because it's kind of the the game is a cycle and, and, you know, your game kind of goes away and it comes back and he's playing really well now. But more than anything, he was excited to tell me that he had straight A's in class right now. Yeah. I mean, he's working really hard to do the things that we're talking about and it's making a difference. But, you know, if you've got, your academics taken care of, that makes it easier for you to put the books down and grab the clubs and you can go play golf and not have to worry about tomorrow's test because you're right. already prepared for that. And it gives you the, the freedom mentally and, and time-wise to take part in this ec- extracurricular activity. Yeah. Um, so we noticed last night we were out at uh, Eagle's Nest uh, for a meeting with Red Method yeah. and uh, the North Myrtle Beach golf team uh, the boys' team was coming up, and uh, I think Coach uh, said he had 22 players. Yeah, I believe Coach he said. Small, yeah. Yep, has 22 players, and their excitement uh, once they learned what you did, and and a couple of the the players were even getting with you saying, "Oh, you're from Charlotte. Well, I'm playing here at this AJGA event, and do you know about the golf course?" And you took one of the young men in and gave him a kind of a hole by hole layout of the golf course he had never seen before, and I thought that was pretty neat, Bart. I was I was impressed. Well, so, you know, I it's uh, it, 
people ask all the time, you know, why Red Method Golf? You know, why didn't you put your name on it? And in the world of golf, right, people usually kind of attach their name to whatever they're doing. And my response is, well, one, from a branding standpoint, Red Method Golf is pretty cool. But two, it's not about me. It's just not. This kid's going to go up and play in an AJGA tournament, tough course, hard greens, fast greens. He's never been there before. You know, the first hole, the way the designer did it, that tee lines you straight down the right side of the fairway, which even if you're in the fairway, you're blocked out, can't get to the screen in two. Mm -hmm. So now he knows not only on number one kind of what to do, but the other 17 holes, he's got a good sense of what's going on. So when he does his practice round, he'll get a lot out of it. That's the type of stuff we try to do for every one of the kids. And I noticed uh, even, even in his younger age, he was taking copious notes. And that was good. That uh, that's exciting to see. It is. So, it is. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> that is my student, so he knows that. <laughs> I will take credit for that, and I will be arrogant and say that because I've told these kids, you better learn to do your own yardage books and take care of the yep. business, so you know you're prepared. And that's what the, why I've aligned myself with Bart and Red Method Golf is simply because, you know, he's thinking along the same lines. How do you prepare these kids? I mean, you're talking about preparation for golf but then again you're talking off the golf course in school in life you know treating things the way they need to be treated so there's never a doubt you know you don't sit there and doubt yourself you know you're prepared for everything that you do and and that's one reason why I wanted to be associated with it well greatly said and again we're visiting with Mr. Bart Whitney the founder and president of Red Method Golf out of Charlotte North Carolina some of my old stomping ground so great place but, uh, great place Charlotte yeah. North Carolina now you know what this is going to do it's going to put me on the road you know as I travel around because I'm going where the, the families are I'm going where the Hugh Royers are mm -hmm. um, I want to see that the the family I want to see them I mean I want to watch them you know get their lessons and, and and talk to Hugh I'm not in between the swing instructor and the student or the family just one more spoke on the wheel and I kind of call myself, you know, more than anything, the, the kind of a program coach. You know, I want to kind of help them get the most out of Red Method mm -hmm. Golf. Um, and the instructors really like it because not only do we help their students to perform a little bit better, um, we get them to see their instructors a little more often. We help them to develop a plan versus what a lot of kids, you know, and families do we'll come see you when there's a problem. Yeah. You know, how many Please, times? It, yeah. How many times? Fix it now. Yeah. What's you get, wrong? You get the 911 call three yeah. days before a tournament. No, we need to develop a plan so that you're going to peak at the right time exactly. and you're ready for that. Yeah. And again, exactly. I want to remind our listeners and our viewers that uh, Red Method Golf is working with the serious beginner all the way up to the collegiate player. So again, it's not just for those juniors that have progressed to AJGA or wherever they may be playing in tournaments during the weekends or whatever, you're taking that 25 handicapper and working with them, much like you said, a seventh grader, mm -hmm. and moving them on the right path of developing the game that they're growing to love. Right. And um, again, it's, it's for the serious beginner, though. Would you agree? I mean, it, it's the really a commitment level. The it's, serious beginner is the future of the game. These right. are the kids that say, okay, wait a minute, I can play a lot of sports, but I, I'm kind of liking this golf thing. Yeah. You know, what, what, what can I achieve with that? You know, before we put expectations on them, let us, you know, help you to kind of further develop your game. Let's give you some positive uh, reinforcement yes. in a game that is brutally tough um, and to kind of coach the parents a little bit. I mean, the parents, a lot of times early on, they're a little bit nervous about getting into it. And then I show up and I'll walk the cart path during a tournament and they go, oh, thank God you're here. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. know that. I didn't, I didn't know. I mean, I've seen us go into the trees three times on the right. I don't know why. And I can tell them because mm -hmm. I'll have talked to Hugh or Leslie or whoever the other instructors are. Here's what we're working on. Now, mm -hmm. tournament is when the lights come on. Whatever weakness is in the game, it's going to magnify in a tournament. The nerves enhance and, and yeah. magnify. So all, all we're going to so. do is take these notes. We'll get it back to the swing instructor. They'll take care of it. No problem. I mean, we'll be there to celebrate the success. But when you know we fall down a little bit and skin our knee or hit a couple balls out of bounds, it's not the end of the world. And see, you know, a pat on the back is not so bad. So, you know, say they hit a bad shot and they come out and they do something good, and, you know, and you give them a pat on the back when they walk off, they don't feel so bad about themselves. There's and always, that's why I like the kids. Yeah, you know? there's always something positive you can take for any yes. tournament. No matter what you shoot, there's something positive in there. And sometimes you need somebody, you know, outside exactly. to, uh, to point it out. Exactly. I want our listeners to capture the fact that you've built a network of professionals around you one thing I noticed like yesterday and you made a comment about this and it, it, I kind of I kind of got a chuckle out of it but uh, it's uh, you see all those kids coming up yesterday on the on the high school golf team and 
you know, they've got the latest drivers and they've got the latest putters and they've got, but I noticed a couple of them smaller in statue and there's no way those clubs were fitted for them. There's no, you know, they had to be, you know, uh, choking down or whatever to, so uh, I think you even go so far with Red Method is you've, you've picked some of the best professional instructors in the business to work with you with this program, but also too, you're, you're spotlighting, you know, this club fitters available or, you know, take your clubs and get them, you know, fitted. And, and so we talk about that all the time yes. here on the program about that's one of the first steps any beginner in the game that should do is get the right clubs for them. That way you can enjoy it to the highest level possible at your skill level. Yeah, we, uh, there are so many questions that every family is going to have going through the process, right? This journey. Um, and what I encourage them is whenever they have a question, whenever there's something that's frustrating, Call me, text me, email me, tweet me, you know, all the different things they can do. Reach out as soon as possible, and we'll help you get the answers. Don't feel like you've got to figure it out on your own. And I tell the kids all the time, be very careful. Be very careful demoing this club and that club because mm -hmm. you're going to, you know, for some reason, especially boys, they want to get to that X-Flex shaft as soon as possible. And they start manipulating things, mm -hmm. and I mean it's just crazy. And so, um, if there's somebody that needs to really get fit and get the right clubs in the bag, we can do that. But that also is crazy, as we talked about last night. As soon as mom and dad lay out another fifteen hundred bucks for all you know the latest and greatest uh, equipment, that raises expectations. Yes, and that brings us right, you know, back. It's a vicious circle. Frustration can set in because when you switch clubs, it's not going to be, you know. Oh, it doesn't happen instantly. Exactly. And, and, that's, and again, George, you know, that's one of the reasons why Bart and I have kind of hooked up from the standpoint that, you know, we, we're talking along the same lines. I mean, Heather will tell you, my wife, that I'll get texts at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And it's from kids. And I tell them, if you ever have an issue, there's something going on. I don't care if it's personal, if it's golf, whatever. Let me know. I'm always here to help. Yep. And, you know, these kids will be at a tournament, and they'll be, it'll be 10 o'clock at night on the weekend, you know, and, and my phone will go off. And Heather's like, now, who, who, who's it? Well, it's so-and-so. They're at a tournament, blah, 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 and I'm texting. Or I'll just pick up and call them. Well, you know, I'm getting banished to the couch for a while. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, these kids, that's why we do this and why I've, we've gotten involved is because the kids are what drive me when it comes to golf. I mean, it's what gets me out of bed. To see them smile and play well. Yeah. And the best part is I've had one of them that, you know, got beaten a playoff, and he's getting to play in the match today, but he got beaten a playoff to be in the top five. And I said, hey, the only reason you got beat is because you were able to compete. I said, if you're not choking, you're not playing. And he looked at me, and he goes, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, I've got one player uh, on the south side of town here. His goal coming into the high school season was make the team. Well, now he's upset if he's not playing in a match. Yeah, and you got to remind them. That's good. Do you remember what your goal was a few yeah. weeks ago? Make the team. But that's right. good. You can change when you move, improve that fast, and change your goals. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, for sure. But Bart, I'm looking at the website www.redmethodgolf.com, and right here on the front page, you've got upcoming events. Of course, you're on the air with the Golf Director Radio Show today at www.thegolfdirector.com. And then I see uh, coming up Friday, March the 29th, you'll be in Wilmington for a instructor and family meeting. Uh, you got Saturday, March the 30th, you're in Cary, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, you've listed on here a Hurricane Tour stop that's uh, coming up. And uh, that's Saturday, April the 5th and the 6th. I assume you'll be at Deerbrook for that. Um, interesting, I, I hear you talking about you travel to these different tournaments to watch the players that are quote-unquote family members of RMG. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's just cool. I, you know. You know me in, in junior golf. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's our future. Absolutely, so, um, it is. There's no doubt about it. I, I'm glad Hughes hooked up with you. Uh, and because of Hughes, our family here at uh, the golf director, of course, we're going to be behind it also. So I'm looking forward to working with you in, uh, further in the future uh, in more detail, hopefully. Uh, maybe one day we can even hook up on this partner list up here, which is quite impressive also. He, so. he whines and be he, he poor mouths a lot. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay. Poor mouths. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm impressed with the company. I like what you're doing, Bart. There's no doubt about it. Junior golf is our future for the game. 
uh, for, for networks such as the golf director, for whoever you are in this industry, that is the future for us. And so thusly, we need to do what we can to promote the game, to get the juniors involved, to get them loving the game as much as we do, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you know they're the ones that are going to be sitting behind this microphone and in front of the cameras or on that golf course playing it uh, long after we're gone. Well, so. I appreciate you having me. I, I, I love talking about this stuff, and, and you look at the Myrtle Beach market. Um, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, yes. uh, but there's some people that are dedicated to, uh, to turning this battleship around, and, and, and we should be turning out a lot of really, really great young kids that, uh, that play golf. And see, and that's my big goal is just to turn junior golf around in here in Myrtle Beach because it's been lacking for a long time. It is lacking, but uh, hopefully over the next couple of years we'll be able to have a success at doing that. That's so what, I'm looking forward, forward to it. Absolutely. Again, we've been visiting with Bart Whitney from Red Method Golf. That's RMG. If you see it on this shirt on television here, on the hats sitting in front of us here in the studio. But uh, I want to recommend highly, highly, if you have a junior that's interested in golf, looking at going in golf, or already playing golf and wants to take their golf to another level, contact RMG. I think it'll be quite beneficial for not only that junior player, but also for you, the family member. Again, thank you, Bart, for joining us today. Hugh, as always, it's my pleasure. And this is George Honeycutt for thegolfdirector.com. And remember, TGD programming is now available on demand on TGD TV. Get your golf news at thegolfdirector.com. I want to thank everyone again for joining us. This is George Honeycutt saying have a pleasant week on the course.